Jackson Family Wines is a family owned and operated company with a multi-generational vision to make the highest quality wines in the most responsible manner. And we are here today at the La Crema Estate at Sara Lee's Vineyard, which is in the heart of Sonoma County's Russian River Valley. We want to explore whether our working vineyards can serve as active carbon sinks, meaning to sequester carbon dioxide from the atmosphere while also supporting a healthy ecosystem and growing high quality grapes. And in order to do this, it's a multifaceted project that involves a number of different agencies that we're working with, including the California Department of Food and Agriculture through their Healthy Soils Initiative program, the Sonoma Resource Conservation District, as well as academic partners, Santa Rosa Junior College and University of California at Davis. Sara Lee's Vineyard is indicative of how we farm across much of the state of California. And if we can prove that this project supports soil health and vitality, while also enhancing quality, this is something that we could scale up across all of our vineyards. Our role is really to work as a partner with landowners to explore everything from the very traditional conservation solutions, such as simple erosion control practices, to more innovative work like soil health work. And we are serving as kind of a coordinator and driver of the project. We help bring in grant funding, we really make sure the project happens from start to finish and that that information is reliable and useful and that we can then disseminate it out to the community of other grape growers so that others can make choices about implementing these types of practices. Santa Rosa Junior College's role in this project is focused on the operations of making the research project happen. So I have worked with the RCD staff and the Jackson Family Wine staff to help design the experiment and then we have worked to come out and collect the soil samples and I've had students help me with processing the samples, getting them ready for analysis and in the future I foresee that we can bring students here to see the trial and learn from the trial. The term soil health really describes a soil's ability to function as an ecosystem and so this is both to support agriculture and to support the other ecosystem services that society needs, which is water purification and storage, biodiversity habitat, uh, interaction with the atmosphere. What we know about this is that when there's healthy diversity in the soil, that plants on the whole tend to be healthier, and when the plant is healthier, it has more energy to put into its fruit and to put into its products. And so the hope is that by supporting biodiversity in the soil, we're supporting healthier, more productive vines. Compost application is important in agriculture because it allows us a very quick method of, of getting a lot of carbon into the soil. And it's partially decomposed and it will be there as a food source for the soil and soil organisms. Cover crops are useful because they are actively growing and actively taking carbon from the atmosphere and transferring it down into the soil and, and building the health of the soil in that process. And tillage is important in this context because by reducing tillage, we're preserving the organic matter that we're adding to the soil. We're not opening it up to decomposition and we're preserving the structure of the soil to hold that carbon. Carbon sequestration is important because the data indicate that as the concentrations of carbon in the atmosphere have increased, the planet's gotten warmer and climate and weather systems have become more variable. And so there's, there's very few tools that we have to take carbon and move it from the atmosphere to somewhere that is more useful uh, and safe for humanity. And agriculture is really one of those few solutions. This is a really important program because it sends funding in the direction of innovative farming solutions. We really think that agriculture can be a part of the climate solution. And by sharing the knowledge that we learn from this project, we really hope that we can be a leader and help other farmers understand the value inherent in farming to build soil health and to drive wine quality.